Hey everybody, it's Eric Preston. This is my uh, my spoiler review of The Blair Witch, uh, also known as The Woods. Uh, if you haven't seen my non-spoiler review, please go ahead and click here and watch that. If you haven't seen the film, I would highly recommend hitting that stop button and not watching. Um, if you don't mind spoilers, then continue watching. Otherwise, go see the film, come back, finish watching it, and uh, see if you had the same experience as I did. See if you had the same complaints, same likes. Uh, that I did or didn't have. Um, with that being said, we're going to jump into it. From the spoiler perspective, uh, I had issues with the overall premise, and not not the premise itself, but the character's actions behind the premise. And as you know, the premise is that uh, there's a there's a tape that's been found, and Heather's brother believes it's Heather that's in the tape, and so he wants to go find her. Um, so they all go to the woods to go find her. They go, uh, meet up with the group who uploaded the YouTube video and they all go into the woods together. Um, as they're in the woods, uh, James's character, uh, Heather's brother, uh, starts talking about Rust and Parr and the mythology behind the Blair Witch. And he starts saying stuff that contradicts, uh, stuff that was said in the Blair Witch Project. Uh, things like, uh... Rustin killed the kids up in the attic rather than the basement. Um, talks about how they never found the house, uh, just the tapes. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that the story behind the Blair Witch Project was that uh, some some students went up to the went up to that house a few years later and they were excavating it um, as like a school project and they ended up finding the tapes underneath the house. And that's where the tapes were found. Uh, something like that, uh, from what I remember. Um, but he's saying that they never found the house. Uh, just the tapes. With Rustin Parr, Rustin Parr said that he took the kids to the basement. And Heather said he took the kids to the basement. Um, and Heather also dies in the basement. And so I felt like if this was her brother... Uh, he would know for a fact that uh, Rustin Parr's killings happened in the basement, not in the attic. And one of the characters does try to correct him on that, and he comes back saying, well, I don't... It, it, there's conflicting stories if it's the basement or if it's not. But, again, that didn't make any sense, because from what I remember, Heather, Rustin, and the video footage all showed up being in the basement, and so it felt like the brother should have known that. Um, there's a lot of time warps that happen in this movie. Um, one being that the tape at the beginning is actually their tape from when they die at the end. So it's kind of a s s constant cycle. Um, but then at one point, uh, Valerie Curry gets kicked out of the group with her boyfriend. They go out to the, they, they separate, they come back later, they come back at night. And they're all grungy and dirty, and the group is like, why are you back? We kicked you out. And they're immediately saying, when did you last see us? You know, And the, group's, the group tells them, like, it's been a few hours. And they're like, no, it's been five days, and the sun never comes out. It's always dark. Um, and at this point, you never see sunlight again. Um, the group goes to sleep. They wake up. It's still dark. And there's no reason for that. Uh the witch in the original one never did that to Heather, Josh, and, and Michael. The only thing that she did is she threw them into a loop over and over and over and made them basically starve and get weak and, and break them down mentally. Uh, and in this one, it's just always dark. Um, this one, you see scares. And it feels more like a paranormal activity movie at times um, than it does a Blair Witch Project mo a Blair Witch movie. Uh, you, you've seen in the trailer that the, the tent goes flying up in the air. Obviously, you never saw something like that in the Blair Witch Project. Uh, the closest you got to to real-time scares were uh, when the kids are hitting the tent at the end and they go running out of the tent and they end up finding the house. Um, and then at the end, uh, James's girlfriend goes down to the basement. She gets thrown into a cellar by Valerie Curry's boyfriend. And at this point, he has, like, really, really long hair, and he's all dirty, and he comes running up, and he's like, you're, you're exactly how I remember you, uh, indicating it's been months or even possibly years uh, in his world versus versus hers. Um, 
you also see the Blair Witch. Uh, briefly, so they don't they don't focus on it, but you see her, and that was unfortunate because the Blair Witch Project, you never saw the witch. Um, so it felt unnecessary. And it felt like a cheap scare, in my opinion. Uh, first, you see her outside of the house. You see her briefly, like, duck behind a tree, um, which I didn't mind that one. I thought that, again, I didn't want to see it, but seeing a brief figure, fair enough. But then when they're in the house and they're running in the house, they turn around and you see her chasing after them. Uh, at the end, they run up to the attic and James's character tells his girlfriend to look in the corner with, so they're both looking in the corner and he's saying, Rustin Parr was right. You don't, you always look in the corner because if you look at the witch, she'll kill you. Uh, but that didn't happen in the original Blair Witch Project. In the original Blair Witch Project, Heather specifically states that Rustin took the kids to the basement uh, two at a time. He put one in the corner, he'd kill the one kid, and then he'd go kill the other kid. And he did this multiple times, and then he let this, the eighth the eighth kid go. That's why there's the seven the seven victims. Um, Rustin Parr also said that in the interviews, from what I remember. And so Rustin Parr never said that. And again, this goes back to my, my original complaint about the, the character not knowing the story of the Blair Witch. And I know there was only one movie, but that one movie established its own set of rules that this one felt like they were just disregarding uh, out of convenience. I don't know. Uh, I had issues with that. Also with the Blair Witch, uh, at the end when he's saying that she can't kill you if you don't look at her, well, that's not true. And he, again, it doesn't make any sense that he would say this because, again... Heather died at the end of the Blair Witch Project. Now, I, I, get, that he, I get that the premise is that uh, she's alive. But he saw her... You see that movie, and you know that something happened to Heather. And something happened to Heather with her not looking at the Blair Witch. Uh, she was looking at her friend standing in the corner. Uh, I think it was Mike who was standing in the corner uh, in the original film. Um, but secondly... The other members, so you had another couple that was in the main group. Um, you had the girl who, uh, she pulled a centipede out of her leg in the trailer. Uh, she dies by uh, falling out of a tree um, from the Blair Witch grabbing her. And you see her hand reach down and grab her and she freaks out and drops to her death. And then her boyfriend dies when a tree falls on him. Um, so he's, he's trapped underneath and he's reaching for his flashlight then he gets dragged away. Uh, again, neither of those two looked at the Blair Witch. So they break their own set of rules in this film. Um, and at the very end, uh, James's character gets tricked into turning around. So he's looking at the corner, and then he starts talking. He's like, oh, Heather, is that you? And his girlfriend's like, who are you talking to? And then she watches him turn, and as he has his face turns, uh, he gets snatched away. So clearly, the indication there is that the witch tricked him into looking at her. So, th literally, 30 seconds later, she hears James's voice say, I'm sorry. She turns around, and uh, she gets dragged away and dies. Uh, should you see this film? I think so. Uh, if you're a fan of the original Blair Witch Project, I think you should see this. And uh, decide for yourself if you like it as a sequel or not. Uh, Again, just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you. Uh, and if you have seen this, uh, comment below and let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. Uh, do you agree with what I'm saying or do you disagree? Until next time, guys, this is Eric Preston, and I'll talk to you later.